We're going to talk about graphical solutions, lesson 23. <clears throat> and uh, basically to solve these, you got to do two things. The first thing you have to do is you have to solve, well, it, it doesn't even matter the order, but uh, you have to graph each line. The second thing you have to do is uh, solve for x and y. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to um, first, uh, in this one, I think it's going to be easier to solve for x and y first. So we're going to use substitution. I'm going to move this x over here. So I'm going to subtract the x, and that's going to give me y equals negative x minus 1. Okay? All I did was switch this to this. So now I know the uh, value of y. And I can substitute this in for y up here. So I plug in 3. Here, I'll just do it here and I'll erase it in a second. 3 times negative x minus 1 minus 2x equals 6. So we brought this here. Simply plugged in our value for y, like so. Distribute, negative 3x minus 3 minus 2x equals 6. Okay. Uh, get that out of the way. The like terms, negative 5x minus 3 equals 6. Add 3. 9 equals negative 5x divide by negative 5 and x equals negative 9 over 5. So we've got x and y values, going to put them in the coordinate format. <coughs> so we've got x. Now let's find y. Get rid of this. Um, plug this in for, what is this, x, okay, so y minus 9 fifths equals negative 1. Add 9 fifths, both sides, and the fraction is negative 1 over 1 plus 9 over 5. Uh, get common denominators, so make this 5 over 5. Multiply both by 5. So negative 5 plus 9 is 4 fifths. So y coordinate is 4 fifths. So we just did solve for x and y in our graphical solution. Now we need to uh, graph it. Or not, not graph the coordinates, but graph the lines, graph our two lines. So we have 3y minus 2x equals 6. And we have to get everything in y equals mx plus b form. That's how we graph. It's our equation of lines. So if we're trying to get y by itself, we're going to add 2x both sides. We get 2x plus 6 equals 3y. Divide by 3 to get y by itself. y equals uh, 2 thirds x. 6 over 3 is 2 plus 2. So there's one equation. I'm going to uh, move, move that where it's safe and out of the way. So I'm going to move this one right here. y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Uh, we got that one. Now we do the other one. This one was easy. We just subtracted x both sides. We already actually did this. So y equals negative x minus 1 is the other. So now we have 
both lines. We got our coordinates, and I'll show you what the coordinates would actually mean. But the two lines, we have to draw those out. I'm going to do five digits or five spots. Then we graph uh, this one y intercept to start. 2 is the y intercept. Now we have a slope of 2 thirds. So go up 2, to the right 3, down 2, to the left 3. There's one line. Then our last one, start at negative 1. If it looks like this, negative x, well that's like saying negative 1x. So your slope is negative 1. Okay, so you can go down one to the right one, or you can go up one to the left one. And there's our line. So this would be, so we graph both lines, and just so you know, this solution right here, this is actually where these points cross. So we graph this line, graph that line, negative nine fifths, and four-fifths is roughly where they cross. So that's what that means. But your answer would be the graph, the intersection, and the equations of the line. So it's a lot in your answer, but that is how you do graphical solutions. Let's do one more. Example 23.2. Okay. This was actually a lot easier, so uh, a little bit less time consuming. Y minus 2x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. Well, this is nice. We already know part of our solution. Negative 3 is one point where it crosses. Now we just need to find x. How do we find x? Well, substitute in the value for y. So we plug in negative 3 minus 2x equals 2. We know what y equals. Uh, so, got to add 3 here. Add 3 there. So, the uh, divide by negative 2, get x by itself. And x equals negative 5 halves. So, we got one part done. That is one part of our answer. We solved the solution. Uh, or found the point of intersection. Now we've got to graph the lines. Well, we already have one, and this is y equals, this is a equation of a line formula, actually. I'll show you how. Well, if we just have y equals negative 3, now you could look at it simply. Note that this is the y-axis. Okay, this is the x-axis. But uh, and know that you're going negative three on the y-axis. But if I wanted to, let me just show you this way real quick why it is how we're doing it. What's the negative three? Well, if it doesn't have the x attached to it, then it must be the b. So that's actually the y-intercept. Y-intercept is negative three. Now, if it has no slope, what does that mean? Okay, it doesn't go up or down at all. It simply goes horizontally. So that's how you graph the line y equals negative 3. That's all there is to it. And so uh, there's one line graph. Now we do the other one. I'll move it down here. y minus 2x equals 2. All we got to do is add 2x. That's nice. y equals 2x plus 2. And we graph that. y intercept is 2. Slope is 2. Uh, if it's 2, that would be the same as saying 2 over 1. So you would go up 2, 1, 2. And then you would run, or go horizontal, 1. Or you could go down 2 and to the left 1. There's your line. Your point would roughly be here where they intersect. And that's how you do graphical solutions.